In this lesson, I am going to discuss exponential equations. Equations that involve terms of this form, a to the x, where a is positive but a is not equal to 1, are referred to as exponential equations. So basically, they are just equations wherein you are solving for a variable that appears in the exponent. Since the variables appear in the exponent, we want to sort of bring them down to solve for x. In order to bring them down, we can make use of this principle. If a to the m is equal to a to the n, then m is equal to n. What is this saying? This is saying that if you have two numbers which are equal and their bases are equal, then their exponents must be equal. You can only bring down the exponents when the bases are equal. So this is what we want to achieve. We want to achieve same base. And how do we achieve same base? The key to achieve same base is prime factorization. If it is not that obvious to you, what would be the common base? For example, we want to solve 3 raised to x plus 1 equals 81. We want to achieve the same base. Let us get the prime factorization of 81. What is the prime factorization of 81? 81 is 3 raised to 4. If you did not get that, use the prime factorization. 3, correct? This is 9. 9, 9 is 3 squared. This is 3 squared. So therefore, 81 is 3 squared times 3 squared or 3 raised to 4. I'll just copy 3 raised to x plus 1. Now, I already have the same base 3. So therefore, my exponents should be equal. I can now equate them. So x is equal to 3. Next, we have 4 raised to 2x minus 1 equals 8 raised to x plus 3. Again, get the prime factorization of your bases. 4 is 2 squared. And then copy 8 in its prime factorization is 2 cubed. Let us recall the laws of exponents. If you have a base, you raise it to an exponent, and you raise the whole thing to an exponent, what do you do with the exponents? You simply multiply. So you have 2 raised to 4x minus 2. This is 2 raised to 3 times quantity x plus 3 is 3x plus 9. I now have the same base, so therefore I can equate my exponents. This is just a linear equation. Collect all the terms involving x. And we get that x is equal to 11. Next. This involves a lot of numbers, but don't be scared. Look at the numbers 7, 3, 43, and 49. Since you have a base of 7 here, and 49 is 7 squared, you already have an idea that 343 is a power of 7 as well. Verify that 343 is 7 cubed. I will just copy this. We write 49 as 7 squared. Let us recall that a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. You just add the exponents. The left-hand side becomes 7 raised to 3x minus 1 plus 3. This one also. I will write first 7 halves raised to 3 halves as 7 raised to 3. You multiply 2 and 3 halves. So the right hand side becomes 7 raised to x plus 1 plus 3. This is 3x minus 3 plus 3. So we have 7 raised to 3x is equal to 7 raised to x plus 4. I have the same base 7, so therefore we can now equate our exponents. 3x is equal to x plus 4, and therefore, collecting all the x's, you get that 2x is equal to 4, or 
x is equal to 2. For our last example, we have the number e appearing here. Don't be scared of e. e is just an irrational number, approximately equal to 2.72. I'll just copy e to the negative x squared. What is e to the x raised to 2? We simply multiply the exponent. So this is e to the 2x. And what about 1 over e cubed? Recall that 1 over a to the m is the same as a to the negative m. You can bring this up by changing the exponent here to its negative. So 1 over e cubed will become e to the negative 3. Copy this. What is e to the x times e to the negative 3? Again, our loss of exponents whenever you are multiplying numbers with the same base, you add the exponents. So this becomes e raised to 2x minus 3. I now have the same base e, so we can equate their exponents. Negative x squared is equal to 2x minus 3. And this is a quadratic equation. So one side must be set to 0. I have x squared plus 2x minus 3. And the factors would be x plus 3, x minus 1. So therefore, x is equal to negative 3 or 